Queenfall is a new upcoming PC MMORPG which should be released on Steam in quarter 4 of 2023. So far we have got a lots of interesting information about this new upcoming PC MMORPG including two trailers. You can see one of these trailers, we have got one trailer 5 months ago and one trailer 1 year ago, actually that was a long time. And within these trailers, you can see right now in front of you, we have seen actually lots of interesting information, lots of interesting features of this game, combat, which is looking actually pretty decent, graphic design also looking pretty decent. But for this evening, I want to focus on something else. We can also get from developers of the game, frequently asked questions and answers, of course. And within these frequently asked questions, we have get so many interesting information about the game features, about PvP, about PvE, about classes, about dungeons, about uh, business model, about... Uh, there are so many interesting things to show you. So, for this evening, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk next few minutes about the Queenfall, new upcoming PC MMORPG, which could potentially be something really good. You can see here a little bit of trailer. I'm starting with that. Uh, you can see different kind of classes in combat. Don't forget, I think this trailer was up about half year ago and game is still in development. So it's not like this is final version of the game, right? But already now we can see some basic things and these basic things are looking good. Check out this raid in front of you. Looking so good. How many players is, is in this raid, right? In this raid, we have seen at least 50 players. Also, graphically, very appealing. Look at this city. This is looking so good, right? So, I will leave uh, trailers for some another occasion. Let's move here to show you what I have prepared for you. So, this is official website of Queenfall. You will find that uh, website, right? And you need to decrypt the ruins to be able to enter this website. You can register to join closed beta on this website and basically that's it. For now, on this website, there is not much information about the game. However, Queenfall is already there on Steam. Yes, you can add this game to your wishlist. Can you? I think I... Yeah, yeah you, I have already done that. And you can see here it's written release date quarter 4 of 2023 developer and publisher of the game Warwick Technology Inc and I can show you just shortly some tags and then we are focusing on frequently asked questions which are actually so interesting you will see why I'm excited about this so main tags massively multiplayer MMORPG absolutely yes RPG open world very important open world game Character customization, medieval, action RPG, adventure, multiplayer, PvP and PvE included, which is actually really great. Hunting, cooking, fishing, that's great, Li life skills. Naval, 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 come on, maybe some naval battles, right? That would be great. Mining, building, crafting, magic, agriculture. So basically, from these tags, that is about everything what I'm asking from some PC MMORPG, like, like really serious PC MMORPG, right? So this game, I, it's not written here guild system. I assume this game have guilds. You will see later in frequently asked questions. PvP wise, uh, content is there. PvE wise, crafting, uh, uh, you can see here open world, yes, and real MMORPG. So you can add this game to your wish list. Release date, quarter 4, 2023. There is no release date for now. But now let's focus on frequently asked questions, which I have found, let me show you actually here, on Discord. This is official Discord of Queenfall. Let's check lots of interesting information about this game. First question here, when beta test? We are planning to have our closed beta towards the end of 2023, which is kind of natural if they are releasing the game in quarter four of 2023. That means it could be even December. Who knows? But usually nobody is releasing games in December. Seriously. When you have seen some game released in December. That is never a positive thing because people are then going on holidays, right? Christmas, New Year, and you know it, right? So probably we'll see beta test much sooner than that and release of the game, right? Game world size. The map size in Queenfall is 2016 square kilometers. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a big map. Open world. Oh, okay, already this information here right now are huge for me. When I see some open world, huge open world, which you can freely explore, that means a lot for me, right? So this is, this is good. 
Will there be a necromancer class? There will be no necromancer class in the game. So no, no necromancer, which is, I mean, it's not necessary, something to have regarding classes. And uh, you'll see later information about classes. How are you actually picking your class and your role? So I'll tell you later. Let, let's go over it, or let's go with another question. Uh, do servers uh, will be dedicated as PvP and PvE, or it will be mix up? Yes and no. Players will be able to join PvP or PvE channels as they wish. Okay, so this is interesting solution actually. So it's not like they will have dedicated PvP or PvE servers. They will actually have PvP or PvE channels. Sounds reasonable. Sounds like a good solution, right? Are you planning to incorporate a new artificial intelligence advance to the game or NPC? As, for, as of now, we have no plans regarding this subject. We can return back to it in the future. Okay, maybe that's even better. Maybe that's even better, right? Uh, what will be the maximum level you can get? The maximum level is going to be 50, okay? And you'll be able to have 100 grade, okay? We know that information now. Now about classes. This is interesting. Can we play every class and do everything the game offers on one character? Okay. Queenfall will not feature a class system. Your choice of weapon will determine your character's class. For example, you will earn experience in blades by using blade weapons. With this system, the player will be able to choose their playstyle freely without being restricted by archetypes. So, okay, I mean, we have seen that in many other MMORPGs. This is nothing strange, right? That you are actually not picking your class, that you are picking, you are making a character, a character on the start of your gameplay, and then you are picking some weapon, right? And then by picking up your weapon, you are actually determining a role of your character. Will you, be, will you be DPS, tank, or healer? So it's nothing strange, I would say. We have seen that system in many other MMORPGs. Nevertheless, I'm kind of, I wouldn't say that I'm old-fashioned or something like that. I kind of like when I can pick a class on the start of my gameplay. You know, when you, when you can pick a specific class. When you see like five or six or seven or eight or even more uh, different classes... And then you can pick, will, be a, will you be a, 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 some kind of priest, a cleric, a tank, you know, a range class or mid class. However, like I said, this idea, it's not bad. It's nothing strange, right? We have seen that in many other MMORPGs in the past. However, how this idea is implemented into the game, that is another story. If it's done on good way, yes, this can, be, this can be great. Also, when you have this kind of situation regarding determining your class, you know what will happen. There will be metas. There will be like two or three metas and everybody is playing the same meta. So that means that very soon players will discover which is the best weapon or combination of weapons in the game. And when players discover that, you know what happened. Everybody play with the same weapon. Because why would you play, uh, with, why would you play with some other weapon if you know that meta, this combination of two weapons or one weapon or three weapons, right, is the best is giving you the best DPS or best healing abilities or something, right? So that is the negative side of this idea, right? That is the negative side. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Alamos. Thank you very much for follow and welcome to live stream. And uh, Nicht and Dennis, thank you for the follow also. Welcome to live stream. Welcome, everybody. So I'm currently talking about Queenfall, guys. So this idea regarding classes, like I said, all depends how it's done. It can be good, right? What are the profits bonuses to play in PvP channel? What privileges will we have? Players will be able to gain more rewards with the risk factor in PvP channel. Okay, these rewards include, but they are not limited to experience, item drops, crafting experience, crafting experience. Of course, PvP servers come with disadvantages as well as advantages. You'll be losing some of the experience you have gained while, when you die. Hmm. So this is higher risk higher reward, right? So if you play on PvP channel, you'll be able to get some better rewards regarding experience, item drops, and crafting experience. However, if you uh, die, you will, learn, you will lose some experience. On the other side, if you play on PvE channel, no PvP, you can play normally without somebody attacking you, or you can attack somebody else, you can't. No danger, you can play more casually, right? Nevertheless, less rewards. So... This is interesting. This is interesting. But it's actually a pretty interesting idea to implement, right, uh, these channels, right? So not different servers, 
We are not talking here about PVP servers or PVE servers. We are talking about different channels, right, on same server. So interesting idea. Uh, okay, when creating a guild. So there are some questions I can show you here. This is a really long frequently asked questions. So I will pick uh, some of the most interesting questions. You can check all of these questions and answers on official Discord server of Queenfall for this evening. I want to analyze with you. I want to give you interesting information regarding main and most interesting question. Because when I would read this here, it would probably take one hour, everything, right? So I have just noticed interesting question here. Buy to play, subscription or free to play? Regarding business model, obviously. The first closed beta is going to be free. Afterwards, the players are going to have to make a one-time purchase to buy the game and play. So wait a second, this is uh, buy to play. Obviously, this sounds like buy to play. Okay, so first closed beta is going to be free. So they will send invitation. Uh, you have seen that over there on the official website of the Queenfall. You can already now register for closed beta. Do that. You'll have free access to the game if you get invitation. Obviously, not everybody will get invitation, right? Just they will pick certain people. However, this is interesting, right? Later, however, game will be on Steam, a one-time purchase to buy and to play the game. So buy to play. This is clear, right? It's, it's not subscription because it's written here specifically one-time purchase. So now we know, boys and girls, business model of the game, buy to play. Quarter four of 2023. What is the most beautiful and enchanting place to visit in the game? Every player has their own place and taste. Therefore, we think every player could have a different favorite. Yeah, this is, uh, this is let's say, what specific, what specific genre of MMORPG will Queenfall be? Very important question. We could say that our game is close to sandbox MMO genre. So it is MMORPG, real MMORPG, and they're saying close to sandbox MMO genre. It's enough for me. It's enough for me. What I have seen so far, game will be released on Steam, buy to play game. Uh, I have seen already two trailers. You have seen a little bit on start of this uh, part of live stream, that trailer. Trailer is looking good, right? Game is still not finished product, so we cannot judge anything, right? We still didn't have that closed beta. We need to try to play the game. I will try to get into closed beta. If NDA will not up, I promise to you, I will show you some gameplay of this game and I will give you a review of this game on my YouTube channel and here during live streams. For this evening, I cannot tell you, I, I don't want to judge, you know, before a release of the game, many content creators do that. They are burying the game, they are saying rip, garbage game or something, or they are praising the game even, right? Before release of the game, Be before they have even tried to play the game, right? No, I will not do that. So, uh, regarding gameplay, we will see. However, information I have seen so far are looking really good. The Queenfall is looking like one, I would say, really viable option, at least to try to play later during 2023, right? Quarter 4 of 2023. What else do we have here? Mm, is there some tag PvP or opt-in on PvP server? Yes, there will be. Oh, wait, this is regarding naval battles. How we are going to build the ship and what kind of activities can be done with the ship. So we have seen probably naval combat will be there. But let's see, wait. Naval system is really extensive content in the game. Shortly, there is going to be sea warfare, open sea monsters, islands and underwater settings to explore. This is amazing. This is really good. This is actually... When we are talking in general about content of this game, you have seen already tags, right? PvP content, PV content, uh, life skills, crafting, open world, the guild system. There is lots of content already. But this here is adding lots of additional amazing content. Let's read this again. Naval system is really extensive content in the game. Obviously, shortly, shortly, there is going to be sea warfare. So naval battles. That's amazing. Open sea monsters. So... Raids on the open sea, islands to explore, and underwater settings to... Underwater, that means diving or what? This is amazing. This is really amazing. Okay, another interesting question. Oh, there are so many good questions here. Like I said, <clears throat> I don't want to make this uh, part of live stream last one hour regarding this or a video for my YouTube channel. But already this, what you have heard about uh, the Queenfall, I'm interested. If I'm interested... 
then you should be also right because this sounds really good. Okay, another interesting question just to check and then we are going forward. I am looking for a MMO game with the modern Holy Trinity. You know what that means, Holy Trinity system, healer, DPS, tank, we know that from before. Do you plan any dungeons with mechanics which require class diversity or you believe DPS is only thing players need? This is important question. So will we have that Holy Trinity system or basically other option would be that every class can heal itself to some point, right? <clears throat> Let's check it out, where is that? We plan on implementing boss mechanics that require the player to invent new strategies rather than having a set game mechanic. Wait, what that, what that even means? If the profession NPC lives or die, can the favorite player inherit the said NPC shop or workshop? Yeah, but I don't understand this answer. We plan on implementing boss mechanics that require the player to invent new strategies rather than having a set game mechanic. Yeah, they didn't, answer, uh, they didn't answer clearly. So this is not clear answer on will there be Holy Trinity system in the game or not, which is kind of strange, I would say. They could have answered here clearly, yes, there will be DPS, tank, or healer. Uh, here, this is pretty vague, right? I mean, I don't know. But I, I know for myself, at least, I'm talking subjectively here, right? I like Holy Trinity system. Seriously, I love I love Holy Trinity system. I mean, I can play many games without Holy Trinity system, which basically you, you are playing any class in the game and every class are able to heal itself, right? You make damage, but you can also heal yourself to some point. Uh, some maybe healing abilities, some draining abilities, right? For HP, uh, maybe some pots and stuff like that, right? I have seen many games, good games, without Holy Trinity system. But I have to admit, in my opinion at least, for MMORPGs, Holy Trinity system is something really great. And I hope that Queenfall will have it. Anyway, for this evening, I will not finish this part of live stream. I wanted to give you some main information about this new upcoming PC MMORPG, which should be released later in quarter four of 2023 on Steam as a buy to play game. Interesting option, I would say. Lots of interesting in-game features and content. Graphic design so far looking good. Regarding classes, regarding uh, business model, regarding dungeons, you have heard just some new information. When I see something interesting is happening with Queenfall, I will let you know about that here on uh, live streams and also on my YouTube channel. If you are watching my live stream, let's go for a live stream. If you are watching this as video on my YouTube channel, Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course the Queenfall content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.